So in thinking about healthy fats and unhealthy fats, there's a subset called partially hydrogenated fats. Um, these are created in a lab by a process called hydrogenation, and that process turns a double bond into a single bond using a metal catalyst. Now the original goal was to take a healthy fat, like a monounsaturated fat, and, which is a liquid at room temperature because they can't stack up, and turn it into something that has more desirability as far as being a solid, um, because as I mentioned, olive oil doesn't make good cookies. It doesn't crisp up. But if you have, have it as a semi-solid, um, that might make for a combination of being still slightly healthy, but have some of those properties of the saturated fats. So saturated fats are the all single bonds like butter. And so this is how margarine was invented, was through partial hydrogenation, turning some of the double bonds into single bonds, and then having a mixture of a liquid and a solid, which is semi-solid. And so this is done uh, to create a butter substitute um, starting with a healthy fat that is monounsaturated or polyunsaturated. So here's an example of polyunsaturated two double bonds and using a catalyst to add hydrogens across one of those double bonds reduces the amount of double bonds and so this leads to one less double bond but also more of the desirability as far as the oil um, being still healthy, but maybe a little less of a liquid and a little more of a solid or the semi-solid. Hydrogenation is not only used to make these butter substitutes, but also a peanut butter that's spreadable. So peanut butter, if you've ever noticed, has a separation that has, the oil will float to the top on many peanut butters. Have a spreadable peanut butter, that's because of partial hydrogenation. It's allowed for some of these, um, some of the fats in peanut butter or peanut oil to um, be converted and be less of a, a liquid and more of the semi-solid that's mixed into the peanut butter semi-solid that's spreadable.